Yo, this is a quick video from Matt House. He asked how I take care of my celest or terrestrial slings. I actually grab these little uh, Sterilite containers. They're like a dollar fifty at Walmart, and uh, I cut vents in each side, opposing each other. And they're stackable. They're super simple to use. I, you, as long as you label them, you know what the hell's what. Um, I keep my Smithy in one of these as well. Um, Actually, I have a couple Smithies in here. There's one of them. He's starting to uh, get some of his adult colors, which is pretty cool. He's pretty excitable, too. Oh, bud. Dude, it's super mellow, though. The Smithy is going to be great. You'll like it a lot. Mine have, neither of mine have ever kicked hairs. Um, even his slings, and neither one's ever bit. Though this one likes to uh, go after tongs. It thinks tongs are food all the time, so it won't go for a hand, but it, it hates tongs. As you can see, the diggers pretty much just throw some cork bark in there. They'll dig holes under it. They like to mess around, dig in the dirt, fill their water dish. Little bastards. Hey, once every sling has a home, whether a boreal or terrestrial, I keep it in a microclimate. This is a 20 gallon long with two heat pads on the back. It actually stays cooler in the middle than it does on the sides. And uh, the middle will stay about 80. The uh, sides will stay about 85 for those like it a little bit warmer. We'll fill it with a little bit of substrate so it holds humidity. I'll always keep that substrate moist so that when there's a lid on here, this thing actually holds about... 85-90% humidity, roughly, and uh, of course, we'll have to lock that lid down so none of it gets out. Um, I'm not too worried about how clean this one is. We just baked it with some heat lamps, but it's destined for a colony of isopods anyway, so we shouldn't have any mite issues in the future. Alright, man, so here's all of my slings in the uh, microclimate. It does a much better job than, say, keeping the room at some insanely high temperature humidity, which I've actually had to do for a couple days anyway, uh, just so I could clean and uh, disinfect the microclimate. Um, as you can see, those little terrestrial containers stack real nicely. I've got uh, my B. Smithy on top, um, on this side, both of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's uh, you want to do a microclimate just because it's so much easier to keep the right temps and the right humidity and have zero problems. Uh, if you need instructions on what all that entails, that's on uh, Paul Becker's website at petcenterusa.net.